tubes, you can kind of find the center of the inside of the tube here. And you can see that this valve stem is off center. Center runs right about through here. So with the uh, rim right here, it's going to be facing up. So you're going to make sure this is up. some grease inside there too. Alright, thought I'd give you a little update on this little project here. This is our lawnmower Hustler 340. Got the little Kubota engine in it that runs. I actually drove it into this spot with a couple flat tires. I was able to put new tires on it and I cleaned the rims up and painted them. It's going to need quite a bit of work. Here's what I'm doing over on this side. I've been taking down the paint. I've got a few little tools there I'm goofing around with. I had to straighten the door. And I've got some farm implement cat caterpillar yellow is the only thing I could find that was close enough. So I've got that. There's my other new tire. And then these are new tires as well. These were actually not too badly priced. The new tires were like 30 bucks a piece and then the tubes were five this is the expensive part of these tires these are a hundred around hundred and twenty dollars shipped and then the tubes were another thirty and again I cleaned the wheels up painted them new tubes and everything so they're gonna go back together and you can see where I've done a little bit of painting here you can see the difference. What I'm using is this is the original paint here. Looks like it came from the company that built the machine. That's this shade here and then this shade here is the the Rust-Oleum. So I'm not sure. I've got plenty of Rust-Oleum. I only have a couple of cans of this stuff here so I may just paint it the Rust-Oleum looks pretty close but I don't want to do two shades of it you know have it look odd so I got new air filter I got new fuel filter in here but this mounting unit right here is broken 
and I took the fan out as you may have seen it had a bad spot in it and I noticed also that the radiators got a bad spot two of them so I gotta make sure those are gonna be acceptable if not I may have to get a radiator I can't imagine that being cheap and not much change here I showed you where I was doing some repairs down below there uh, get my flashlight out and you can see there's one of the wires down there and there's another one right there that I've done the sandblasting on like I was showing you in that one video and there's a couple of tricks I could probably show you as well. Now, for throttle cable, this just goes down here into the, the injector pump is. One of the things that I learned years ago was taking that throttle cable like that, or choke cables or whatever, and actually slide a... Uh, a bit of hose over it. I usually use the clear type vinyl hose. It's just a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of this. Slide it over that and fill that whole thing full of oil and it makes that uh, throttle last a lot longer and it makes it easier to to manipulate. So I may show you that in a video as well. Other than that, it's come along pretty good. I've got, uh, I don't have any way to get reproduction stickers, which I would like to get. Even these, I may have to sand around them. This one here, I'm not so sure what I'm going to do with that one. I may try to get a graphics uh, local guy to maybe make me some new stickers, decals, whatever you may. But overall, I think the pieces are all there. Looks like it might come together pretty pretty decent. The radiator will be a little bit of a struggle if it starts leaking, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, so here's your look at your, your lawnmower. Oh, and here's another thing. Now this piece right here, that's a grass catcher. That's the one that goes on the very back that'll mount right in this area here and that keeps the grass from filling the uh, radiator and the oil cooler up with grass clippings at least it tries you have to still blow them out and clean them up real good But anyway that's kind of quick update on the Hustler 340 and for now we'll give you a thumbs up thank you for watching like share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one